Today, we're doing one of the most beloved soups of all time. Made with homemade vegetable stock, beans, pasta, and tender vegetables. Made even better when topped with some grated Parmesan cheese. Oh, a bowl of this is a soup lover's dream come true. It is, and that's why it's my dream come true, because I'm a soup lover. You are a soup lover. I think all of us are. There's nothing well, better. I use some meat. <laughs> I know, I know. We're going vegetarian today. You don't have to do this vegetarian, but we don't always do, we don't often do vegetarian, but today we're going to. And it's amazing. The flavor is off the charts. Okay, let me, before we get going, and we've got literally the, everything but the yeah, kitchen the sink. the whole farm is in front of us. So, but there's a couple things that I'm going <laughs> to recommend that you do uh, before you get, like the day before, you're going to have to get started. You don't have to. There's some cheats, um, but but if you want to do it for everything from scratch, these are white beans, some uh, good old. Great American. Great northern white beans. <laughs> Great American. Great American. And um, I, use, I started with eight ounces, <laughs> half a pound. And um, so the night before, get them a nice big bowl, put the dried beans, these are dried beans, put them in a bowl, then cover that with water and let them just soak overnight. Then the next day, they're going to be a little plump, a little bloated. And um, so then we're going to drain those, rinse it with some cool water, put them in your pot in, or in a pot, and then put enough water in there to cover them by a couple inches. And, and I like to add some salt. You don't have to, but that helps make them, I think, kind of creamy mm -hmm. tasting. And um, I and usually do about like a, a tablespoon and then bring it to a boil and then just let them simmer until they're soft. And that's anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. And then you you drain them and you've got there your beans. Are, there and they of are. Course you, of course you could do canned. If right. you must. Yeah, um, just rinse them off if you use Yeah, the yeah, then, which is perfectly fine. It's no big deal. Um, and then you can also do in advance this amazing vegetable stock. But we'll talk about that later. It's one. Of the, it's a game changer. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, it's a game changer. It is a game changer. A game changer. Okay, so <laughs> I've got a large pot here, and I've got three tablespoons of olive oil. And now we're going to do some, I right, get going with these vegetables. Yeah, get I've your mirepoix in there, yeah, plus some. Some, plus some. <laughs> uh, that is about a, a cup of chopped onion. That's like one medium onion. I've got uh, a cup of chopped carrots. You know, if they're small, you don't necessarily have to come. You kind of want everything uniform size. That was like two medium-sized carrots. Um, um, and then I've got some celery here. I peeled my carrot um, also uh, that I've roughly chopped. That's probably two stalks. Then we've got leek, and um, I love cooking. I with love leek. <laughs> It's, um, that's one leak. Just make sure leaks t tend to, mm. the way they just come out of the ground, they get dirt down in there. So wash Clean them. up. Oh, we've got a leak gratin that is so, a leak gratin. Pardon gratin, me. Of yes. being very French. You really, well, you know, uh, it, it just sounds good. natural for you. Um, no, if it, you it, like leaks, you'd love that. Yeah, you would. Anyway, so just make sure that, that you <laughs> wash them and they're clean is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so now we are just going to let these saute until they start to soften. And that's going to take about, oh, I'd say eight to 10 minutes. Okay, oh, it's already smelling good. So um, yes. these, are, these are nice and tender. The, the, the carrots are still gonna be pretty al dente, <laughs> kind of uh, to the tooth, got a little <laughs> bite to them, but that's okay. They're gonna get really tender as they cook. Yeah, they're gonna cook for a while. They're gonna cook for a while. So now I have got uh, three garlic cloves that I'm adding to the mix. I've got a tablespoon of fresh parsley and a tablespoon of fresh basil. Um, and we're gonna just get this nice and aromatic. Yeah. And so I've got some tomato paste. I got two tablespoons of tomato paste and I have about two tablespoons of water. I, w I basically just wanna break this down a little bit. Just thin it out a little bit. Thin it out. Break it down. Just break things down, would you? There we the go. The flavor profile of this soup, guys, is like, I'm, it's just, Oh, it's comfort food at its best. I say that for every soup we make, <laughs> but I, this, I mean, this one is, we have another, we have a minestrone See there? soup. Sorry, real that's, quick. Yeah. That good? That's perfect. All right, let's throw that in. We have another minestrone soup that's on the, that we've done that's done in the, the pressure cooker. Yeah, the, or the, whatever it is, the, the instant, instant pot. pot. Um, which is delicious too, and it's super easy. Um, but there's just something about this that is, so anyway, we put those, those tomato, that tomato paste in there, and that just creates a lovely base. It's got, and then it's getting that lovely tomato kind hue. Of, yeah, the hue. <laughs> All right, so and I've got some more tomatoes. I've got a two cans of dice, but I'm only going to use the liquid from one can with the tomato. So one can in there, the whole thing. Am I saying that correctly? You are. <laughs> just, and then I want to use just the the tomatoes from this, so I want to drain it. So I want to drain it first. We, don't, it, we, we do that. We, I played around with this, and, and 
we just don't want to get too much liquid, so I found the right consistency was draining one and not draining the other. There you go. Of course, you're wondering, like, if you did fresh for everything else, why didn't you do fresh tomatoes? You can, absolutely. We're do, when we're That's doing this now. That's a good question. When we're doing this now, <laughs> tomatoes are no longer in season. It's getting chilly out. Although, I have some fall tomatoes that I have to say I'm blown away. Doing it, I know. It's crazy. But they're not ripe yet. Anyway. Are you ready for this? Good quality canned tomatoes, when they're canned at their peakness, are, I think, just as good. Yeah, go ahead and dump her in. Now right, we're we'll going to move your thing. Okay, I'll move my thing. <laughs> so now we're going to start building this soup. So that um. was, here are the tomatoes. There's no rhyme or reason to the order of this. This is one zucchini and that I've just roughly chopped. You don't even have to. I love the zucchini. I do the too. The zucchini kind of acts like the meat. <laughs> it does. The <laughs> That's a good point. Um, this is a, a quarter um, of a small green cabbage. Um, the other beautiful thing about this soup is you, whatever you love and what is in your refrigerator, you can use these ingredients. You can use some, sometimes I put potato in there. Um, you could, uh, the, the, the sky's the limit. I know, I love it. Are okay. we ready for this yeah, so you wonderful go stock? You do that. Oh, let me, it's I'm, heavy. I know. Let me tell you while he's pouring. At, look at that stock, y'all. It's beautiful. It All is, right. it, it is. Homemade soup is one of those things that stock or broth, if you can do it from homemade, it takes it from delicious to out of this world. Yeah, good. tell them so how you made it. Let me tell you how I made this stock. And you, you, you can do this, it doesn't take a ton of time. So I got, I rough cut a, an onion. No, some kiss, some. No, carrots. I started off with some carrots, <laughs> and then I did some um, celery. celery, and then <laughs> carrots and no leek. Carrots. No. So carrots, celery, onion, yes, leek. And then some garlic. Yes, look, look, I, some I, garlic. I, I watched you I know, do it. I know. You and then <laughs> and then I put that in a nice big pot, preferably if you have like a Dutch oven. That's good. With some oil, and then sauté that for about 15 minutes, just to start to really release those flavors. Oh, and, and then, then the starts to smell. Amazing. Yes, it's incredible. And then oh. um, I got five sprigs of fresh flat leaf parsley, and I got three medium-sized tomatoes. Just roughly cut those up, and then added them to the mix. And then to then to that, I added 10 black peppercorns. The classic flavor, a bay leaf or two, classic flavor, and then I added three quarters of a cup of good quality white wine. It's going to cook out for the most part, and then I added eight to nine cups of water, and then I brought that to a boil, and then let it simmer for 45 minutes to an hour. I strained it, and that's all there is to having some of the best stock you can ever possibly you imagine. You can save it or use it right away. Yeah. Now, if you do not want to cook uh, with any kind of alcohol. Just omit it. No, yeah. no, no problem whatsoever. I just with this, this look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this soup, I like to put eight cups of liquid in into the mix. So when I make the broth, you may need to add a little more water so you get a total of, of eight cups, eight to eight to nine cups. But anyway, it's um oh yeah. Now what we're gonna do the salt. We'll do that now. Now this is a good healthy amount of soup. So you've got nine cups in there, so it can take a decent amount of salt. Just remember, if you're using canned or box, if you're not going to make your own broth or stock, they often do have, have some salt. salt in so it, start right. with say maybe one to two teaspoons. I'm going to add some pepper. This is uh, a teaspoon of that, and then just taste as you go. You don't want to oversalt it because then, <laughs> then once you do, then you're stuck with I it. I love salt though. I well, love it. I know you, but you don't want to. You definitely right. do not want to over salt. You, no, but you also then you also don't want to under season it because then it's bland. Okay, I think we've talked enough. Uh, we're going to let this come to a simmer, and then it's going to simmer for an hour. When we we reach 14 minutes, we're going to add our beans, and then we've got some pasta that we'll talk about in just a moment, and then. It's time to have the best soup uh, in the world. I can't wait. Oh, this soup. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. If <laughs> y'all could smell this kitchen. I know, I know. I wish you could. Well, you'll smell it in your own kitchen. Okay, yes. so this has been going about 45 minutes. Um, now we're going to go ahead and add uh, these cooked beans um, because that's very traditional yeah. and they're very delicious. You want to talk pasta? Yeah, then we're going to add these this pasta. Um, your normal pasta, well, what a lot of people use is ditalini. <laughs> Didalina, D-I-T-A-L-I-N-I, -I -I, something like that, L-I-N-I. -I. Anyway, um, it can be hard to find, so if you don't have it, you can use any like small <laughs> tubular pasta. You can use small shells, too. Mm -hmm. We actually found these um, 
I think it's called salad <laughs> macaroni, and they work perfectly. So that's yeah. what we're using. So yeah, yeah, and I'll have a link to it. You can order them online too. A cup too. of this. A cup, and these these guys are a little. When you put them in there, you may think, well, that's not They're much so pasta. They're so small. They're so small, but they <laughs> they really they absorb the broth, and um, they they kind of bloat and um, become perfect. You got so, us. Stocked pot. This is that a is chalk. It is chalk. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a. And I just real quick want to say, you could. So we're going vegetarian here. We did vets the homemade vegetable stock or broth. Really, really great. Often, it's uh, folks use chicken stock. You could yeah. use chicken stock if, or chicken broth if you want to. Sometimes people will also do some. Um, first, they'll saute some pancetta. Cubed pancetta or even small Just cubes of salt, salt pork, pork, yeah, and add a little of that, that adds another layer of flavor. Um, you know, but we wanted to keep this vegetarian because why not? Because we don't do it often, we don't do it often, but boy, when we do, <laughs> we do it right. So, we're gonna let this go for another probably 15 minutes um, until that pasta gets fully cooked and nice and tender. Look at that. Actually, our friend Wendy, hi, Wendy, she would love this minestrone. She would, she would. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're gonna, uh, we're, we're so close to eating time. Yeah. I can hardly wait. <laughs> you guys, look at this. That, oh, look at the pasta. It got nice yeah, and the, plump. The pasta is just perfect. You may, like I said, don't, a cup is the perfect um, amount. Okay, I mean, it, oh. I just, so this is piping hot, but Come that's. Come on that, over, bring me some. You want your soup piping hot, so. Oh, all right, I'm gonna look look load you up. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Make sure there's plenty of broth. Yes. This this homemade. Yes. I mean, we made homemade, broth up. We made homemade stock or broth. We, Give yourself some. I'm Chris. going to. Well, here, let me let me. Let's oh, do, okay. Do the whole nine yards, and I think I think the addition of parmesan just it adds even a little more <laughs> salt and flavor, and oh. Uh, it is. I, you know what I like to do? What do you like to do? I like to put a little freshly cracked pepper on top. Oh, too. okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. Just a little. Just Perfect. a little. Yeah, no, I want a little on mine too. Oh, wow. wow I tell wow, you, wow. I love, I mean, everyone loves soup. I mean, who doesn't like soup? Who doesn't like soup? But, You're a soup lover. But I'm telling you, there is just something so heartwarming and comforting. We had this, uh, well, and I'm not going to speak before. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Here, let me give you some pepper. Tell me when. That's good. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh my, I'm, I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. Uh, all right, y'all, I'm gonna... <gasps> Did your mouth just water? You guys, that is a soup lover's dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna have to... Y'all, this is... It's, 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 it's pretty scorching. Yeah, I'm going to have to blow on this a little bit. Hold on. Oh, the cabbage in there. Oh. I love the cabbage. All right, tell me when you're going in. Hold. It's not a flute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Mm. I always got to put down my fork. <laughs> And have a moment. Have a moment. Wow. <sighs> Y'all. Those flavors. The weather, especially up north, is getting chilly. I oh, know. It's getting this... sweat. Sweater weather. Oh, sweater weather. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You guys, this broth. Yeah. This broth. We have a. Mm. I just slurped. I know we have we heard oh. we have a friend um, named Rob. Hi Rob, um, who made our chicken and dumplings recipe just I think yesterday. Yeah. And, um, he was saying he called for a little bit of advice, and we so, so anyway he said he made it and it was really really good. But he he said I went ahead and used boxed uh, broth, and he said it was still fantastic, <laughs> which it is. And this would be just good too. But you guys, you saw how easy it was to make. I, uh, crunchy bread, people. Crunchy bread. You have to have the bread. That is just. Uh, I was gonna say we had this the other night. I've been playing around with the recipe. This with the bread, and then we grilled up some Italian sausage. I literally, <laughs> it was the happiest I think I've ever been. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have something you'd like to say? For something that doesn't have any meat in it, this is. 
500,000% Luna Proof. Wow. <laughs> and you guys, wow. it's healthy. The only thing, that there's a little bit of olive oil, but anyway, oh. it's just the flavor is off the charts. Y'all, you guys, Make some soup. We love you. You're gonna love this soup, and it's gonna make everyone just, it's gonna make the world I know, place. my cockles are warm. <laughs> I, I had a feeling. All right, bye everybody. We love you guys so much.